Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropico 3 Absolute Power in the mission Take Over the World. Well, we have to take over the world for our corporation. The EVIL Corporation. Alright. Get the marketplace built. I'm a little bit low on resources. But I do need to get a high school going. No spending allowed, that is fine. Alright, we are four more years off from uh, actually running out of our deadline. How much did we uh, send out yet? Alright, we've sent out a thousand. No high school in Tropico! A hurricane! Yay! Fun for everybody! It destroyed two farms and one immigration office. Breaking news! In case you haven't noticed, a huge hurricane has swept through Tropico, leaving a trail of destruction in its path! In unrelated news, there are reports of people carrying a cauldron of tar and feathers traversing the island in search of the local meteorologists. The workers at the weather station were allegedly out drinking and therefore unable to issue a warning the day before the disaster. Yeah, and that's why... You should only listen to El Presidente for your weather news. Let's get rid of this debris, because it's an eyesore. And let's get a clinic on the island as well. Well, at least we exported a lot of stuff, which is good. Right, I want a... not that. A construction office over here. Because I'm certain to have at least some people available. Now you don't necessarily need to spread out your uh, construction well, no offices yeah. quite that much. But it does help that they're not all stuck in the same traffic jam. Just in case your island doesn't really cater for... Uh, Stuff like that. Some people are protesting. Get back to work. What do you want? I'm busy My farmers worrying. need to farm. Alright, let's get rid of these uh, bunk houses, because they're bunk. And houses. Alright, I need fish. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come, pesh, pesh, pesh. Uh, right. Farming. We've already made decent amounts of farm. Now, what's gonna happen in this mission is most likely that the thing that's making you money is gonna be destroyed. Because of some event happening in the world. Which is fine, because you should be able to build up a little bit of a backlog. Apparently, the relations with the USSR are warming, and El Presidente is making a big turn left towards the bright red future. And while our Soviet friends paved the revolutionary road for us, now they are just a bunch of oligarchic bureaucrats who turn their backs on the perpetual struggle for freedom, boycott any Russian caviar, and... Hey, Miguel, hands off that Porsche! Alright. As far as uh, fun goes, where can I put this? Alright. A little bit of a private road to the uh, Childhood Museum. Crime safety, yeah. 
Operative Leo, I'd like to remind you that you must deliver 5,000 sugar by the end of 1956. Those cupcakes aren't going to, going to bake themselves. I'm not going to press you on this. After all, it's not like your job depends on this or anything. Oh wait, it does! Now, move it, or you are fired. Oh, quit the crap. Police, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is built. There's more people building. Four farms should be more than enough. It's mostly just about getting uh, the stuff from the farms to where it needs to be. To which uh, I'll say, well, we need a teamsters office here then. And let's also get a garbage dump going. Not that I necessarily need one quite yet. Because they don't start complaining about it until you have at least 200 people, but it's nice to have anyway. Right. Let's get the high school finished. Are you a rebel? And the Teamsters office. Muy buena. Yeah. People are upset, and that's not helping. Let's get some workers. Operative Leo, it appears that our biggest rival, the LIVE Corporation, is trying to disrupt our operations on the island. They are sending operatives posing as rebels in order to conduct subversive activities. We will try to intercept them before they reach the island, but we predict that at least one of them will manage to get through each year. Uh, yes, I want. threats. People are not happy. I got that. Is there anything I can do for that? Uh, I'll issue an ideology book. Let's see. This is Betty Broom, the voice of truth. Today I will expose the brainwash attempts of El Presidente. His new ideology book has been called the True Tropican Bible by the government. This could have been worrying if the book was not as stupid as it actually is. Right. Let's put a road in here. Have you heard of the Presidente's childhood home? Some of the items which can be seen there are El Presidente's wooden horse and his favorite teddy bear, affectionately called Misha. And a collection of toy soldiers with which he used to quell make-believe rebellions as a kid. There. Perfect. Uh, high pollution, yeah, yeah, we already knew that. Uh, let's put down a statue to make sure that people don't protest near the palace. Today's news. Democracy is knocking on the door of El Presidente as the people of Tropico are demanding elections in the upcoming year. Will this be the end of El Presidente's tyrannical regime? Let the voice of the people be heard. We shall not fail. Adelante, compañero. I'm busy ruling! Right. More entertainment. Keep the people happy and busy.
Alright. We're, we're almost done with the sugar objective. When things start to sink to high heavens, you always know you're entering Tropico. Apparently, a Presidente decided to build a garbage dump. I say, construct the damn thing in place of his palace. It's much more fitting. Enough with trashy politicians. Come on, put it down. take care of most of the people's problems. Vision quality environment. Yay! Bonus objective completed. Rebel attack! No! Brave oh well. people of Tropico, as I speak, our revolutionary brothers and sisters are taking the fight to the oppressors, striking at the heart of this cruel regime. Help them with everything you can, and our just cause will prevail. Yeah, I somehow doubt that very much. But right, we'll, we'll extend the uh, living, living area a bit. No, not tenements. Apartments. They're upgrading. That. After all, Dear we have plenty of money. ENT radio, do you remember the old days when everything was so much easier? People would do what they were told. For free, I might add. And they never complained. Well, things are different now as there are people openly protesting on the streets. Now, Presidente has stated that these strikes are staged by his enemies. Personally, I believe him. But convincing the general population may not be so easy. Well, that don't, doesn't matter much. Alright, so how long do I have until the human need to disappears? Eight months? Right, so they destroyed the mine. Oh well. Operative Leo, unfortunately our plan has failed. The sinister LIVE organization has planted a bomb in our pastry factory. The resulting explosion decimated the factory and covered the neighboring town with a blanket of white flour. We must minimize our losses and begin selling back the sugar we have stockpiled. This will surely result in a destabilization of the market. Sugar export price will be minus 50% for the next 10 years. Stand by as your new task will arrive shortly. Operative Leo. I am proud to inform you we have fired our, all our, of our old analysts and have hired new, better ones. They have devised our new smoking hot plan and it involves cigars. Lots of cigars. We plan to distribute them for free to the heaviest smokers in the world who covered the sky with a thick curtain of black fumes, blocking out the sun's rays. Faced with this crisis, the governments of the world will bow down before us and we will assume control. You must produce 5,000 units of cigars by the end of 1965 in order to reach our quarter. We might need, you know, we might need to build several factories in order to finish in time. Failure to comply will lead to our in need to your immediate remove from office. Alright, so I might need a few more uh, tobacco farms. And I'll just put down another garage for that. Just to make sure that things keeps going smoothly. 
Uh, yes, I'll give them a speech. I'll talk about the environment. I'll praise the militarist supporters and voices concerned that the number of soldiers and generals and stationed on the I'll island uh, is insufficient to defend the nation. Go. If you ever consider joining the army, now is the time to make the decisive step. Uncle Pedro wants you. You know what? That can actually go. Hola, Tropico. The importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step what closer to now? our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The pollution in the cities, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time as the global economy stabilizes. Through my years of presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters. My employers, now is the time to show my respect to the capitalists, providing the wealth of Tropico. <laughs> As a nation, we have come a long way, but we still have a long way before us to reach our goals. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, I shall see to it that the citizens of Tropico will live in an environment free of crime. It is our duty to prevail in this fight. Right. El Presidente, go to the high school, please. Now, I need a little bit of money to get started. Uh, the need for fraud, I'm gonna win this quite easily. Immigration issue. Uh, can I build a factory that I need? Not really. Vacations are one. Good, good, good. Uh, I, I want to kind of build this in the round history, but the uh, like tobacco a will be. You have voted for the same tyrannical regime that spits on your freedoms and tramples your rights. If you were able to see beyond your noses, you could have seen past the lies of our president. Open your heart to the truth, and it will set you free. All right, let's get these. Uh, farms building immediately. Can I also build a mine yet? Nope. Uh, Operative Leo, our experts have monitoring close to your progress. You've been given the following evaluation. Barely adequate. In order to help you improve your performance, we have decided to give, provide you with one of the fol following benefits. Funding of one of your cigar factory building or help from our corporate training team in order to raise the qualifications of your workers. Choose wisely operative, as your choice will be evaluated as well. Remember that we, the EVIL Corporation, care for its employees. Have a nice and productive day. Uh, I'll get a free factory, because th I can use that. So but I cannot pick the factory, but oh well. Alright, these will also need to be built quickly. And I'll make the tenements free.
Alright, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.